During the Second World War, the Tiger tank was probably the most feared German military vehicle. It had an infamous legacy during the conflict, and this reputation has lived on as time has passed. Today, hundreds of thousands of people will flock to the Tank Museum at Bovington to see the last remaining running Tiger tank. Tiger 131 has an interesting story and is one of a kind, but Tiger tanks as a whole are very hard to get hold of. However, when making films, surely filmmakers want the best and most notorious tank deployed by the Germans to feature in their movie. As time moves on, how can filmmakers use extremely valuable and incredibly rare military vehicles on film sets, risking possibly breaking the only running vehicle of its kind? Imagine the outrage if a Hollywood director, for example, ruined Tiger 131, putting it out of running order forever. Original parts for Tiger tanks, however, don't come cheap, and you'd be lucky to even find parts from them nowadays. But today we're looking at one of the strangest and weirdest fake Tiger tanks made for a role in a film. Today we look at the fake Tiger tank that's actually a T-34, used in the film Saving Private Ryan. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Hidden away in the spectacular Land Warfare exhibition at the Imperial War Museum at Duxford is a remarkable prop, used for one of the best films depicting the Second World War. Based inside a shoemaker's shop and surrounded by rubble, as if it's smashed through the poor business, the Tiger tank in question sets a devastating scene. However, when you look closely at the vehicle, you'll realise that it's a replica and shares very little resemblance to a real Tiger. When comparing this with Tiger 131, you can see that the Zimmermit paste used to repel Soviet sticky bombs looks like plasticine and looks like it's been put on with a garden rake. However, this fake Tiger tank has even more interesting secrets. In fact, it's made from a T-34-85 chassis, which is even more obscure when you think that the 85mm variant of the Soviet T-34 was a direct enemy and opponent of the infamous Tiger. During the production of Saving Private Ryan, it was apparent that the need for a couple of Tiger tanks was needed for the Hollywood blockbuster. The scene at the end with the huge battle admittedly is impressive, and the film would go on to win five Academy Awards, and has been praised in the past for its filming of the battle scenes. In fact, the scene at Omaha Beach with the US forces landing during D-Day was described as the best battle scene ever. But when making this film, realism was needed, but Steven Spielberg would have been hard pressed to find a real Tiger tank to use in the film. Let's remember that this film was released in 1998, and this is over five years before Tiger 131 would return to working order at the Bovington Tank Museum. So at the time, no running Tiger tanks would have existed. Just over 1,300 Tiger 1s were produced during World War II, which is an incredibly low number when compared to Sherman's or T-34s. Very few of these vehicles survived the war, and the post-war scrapping of materials, and components to the Tiger tank would have been scarce, but some have been salvaged over the years. Still to this day, the discovery of a more or less complete Tiger tank has escaped tank enthusiasts, collectors and restorers. There are six other known surviving Tiger 1s found across different countries, such as France and Russia. However, when the makers of Saving Private Ryan were collecting military hardware to use in the creation of the film, no moving Tiger was available, which provided little help for the filmmakers, so they had to improvise a huge deal. As mentioned earlier, T-34s, regardless of their gun variant, are much more common to find across the world. A huge and colossal amount were made during the Second World War, to the point where people regard the manufacture of the Soviet weapon as a significant turning point in the conflict. Previously, they had been used in films depicting the Second World War, and heavily modified in their appearance to look like Tiger tanks. One example is in the film Kelly's Heroes, the Tiger tanks used in the films were T-34s, modified to look like their German counterpart. Keen-eyed tank enthusiasts would see that the suspension of these vehicles used a modified Christie suspension, as opposed to the more elaborate wheels that the Tiger used. So for decades, T-34s had been used to masquerade as Tiger tanks during filming. During the filming of Saving Private Ryan, they were used again to create two Tiger tanks, used in the Battle of Rommel scene at the end of the movie. There is some debate about whether a third Tiger tank was created from using a T-34 chassis, but this isn't as clear. The Tigers were built on the chassis of old but functional and working T-34 tanks. Other vehicles were made for the film, using more readily available military hardware, but the Tigers really do stick out. Tiger 222 at the Imperial War Museum Duxford, as it's portrayed in the film, also features a camouflage paint scheme in sand, green and brown colours. Interestingly in history, 
Tiger 222, was a tank under the command of famed Tiger Ace, Michael Vittman, at villiers Bocage following the invasion of Normandy. If you look closely at the fake Tiger tank, you'll notice the wheels are not similar to the Tiger at all, and how the track is also different to what you'd find on a German vehicle. Also, the overall finish of the vehicle does look rather different, and more shoddy than what you'd expect to find on a German military tank, as let's face it, we all know that German tank manufacturers were famed for their expert finish and attention to detail. Allegedly, one of the vehicles made for the film caught fire during filming, but the vehicle that sits at Duxford today has been restored to its film-worthy condition. Another one of the Saving Private Ryan Tigers is in the US, having undergone further work in Florida. Much of the appearance on the replicas uses thin metal sheets and were fabricated in such a way that the tank could function possibly to some extent. The one in the US used a new breech, capable of firing out black powder 75mm blank rounds. One of these vehicles would also later be used in the Band of Brothers series. So sitting in a rather dark corner at the top of the Imperial War Museum is an incredibly interesting exhibit. The fake Tiger, which is actually a T-34, that was used in Saving Private Ryan. It was the best that the filmmakers and producers could do at the time, as no running Tiger tanks were available during 1998. However, interestingly, if you consider the use of Tiger 131 during the film Fury, Hollywood filmmakers could now possibly use the last running Tiger in their future films. But at a point in time, it will come where the last running Tiger will need to retire for good, leaving a need for replicas to be used once again. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the fake Tiger tank that's actually a T-34. Once again, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching.